Hey everyone, it's Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at two strong buy dividend kings. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at two dividend kings. Now, dividend kings are companies that have been both paying out and increasing their dividends for over 50 consecutive years, meaning they have a lot of stability in that dividend payment. On top of this, the two stocks we're looking at today also have a 10-year compound annual growth rate of over 10% for those dividends, so we love to see that as well. We're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and of course, how those Wall Street analysts are weighing in. Just before we get to today's video, this is a reminder that if you enjoy, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Let's dive right into our strong buy dividend kings. First up, we're taking a look at Parker Hannafin. They trade under the ticker PH, currently priced at about $644 per share. Over the past one year, they have climbed about 64%. We did talk about this stock back around the start of May. In the last six months, it's climbed 19%, and the last three is up over 18%. Parker Hannafin is the world's leading diversified manufacturer of control and motion technologies and systems. They provide precision engineered solutions for a wide variety of mobile, industrial, and aerospace markets. They have operations in 50 countries around the world. Some of their products include fluid powered systems, electric mechanical controls, cylinders, actuators, filters, regulators, centers, and more. Whether you're an OEM or original equipment manufacturer, or have the need for maintenance, repair, and overhaul, you can be sure of exceptional service through more than 280 Parker locations and 12,000 distributor outlets around the world. The company has been increasing their dividend for 62 consecutive years, putting it in the top five of the longest running dividend increase streak within the S&P 500 index. And on top of that, their 10-year compound annual growth rate for their dividend comes in at 12.65%, and in the last three years, that's actually above 17%. Their current quarterly dividend is $1.63 for a dividend yield of 0.98%. And on top of a solid track record of dividend increases, they also have a great history of earnings reports. Back on August 9th, the company did come out with an earnings and revenue beat as they wrapped up a record Q4 and also provided some future guidance. They'll be sharing their Q1 earnings report on October 31st, where analysts are anticipating earnings per share of $6.14. This follows the Q4 earnings per share of $6.77, which beat expectations by 55 cents per share. Sales for the quarter increased 2% to a record $5.2 billion, and they saw organic sales growth of 3%. Looking at the full year, the sales increased 5% to a record $19.9 billion, and earnings per share of $21.84 increased 36%. Management commented that Parker has a very bright future ahead as indicated by our strong outlook for fiscal 2025, which puts us on track to achieve our financial targets for fiscal year 2029. Looking forward for the year, they expect their total sales growth to be 1.5 to 4.5%. Ahead of this first quarter earnings report, we have had several analysts weighing in, including a five-star analyst from Truist Financial, who currently has the street high price target on Parker Hannafin. Now, this was part of a broader research note previewing Q3 results in the machinery, infrastructure services, and industrial technology sector. While they did trim their estimates for the machinery and multi-industry group reflecting ongoing weakness in demand, they also believe that infrastructure services consensus should remain intact thanks to robust backlogs increasing visibility. We also had an analyst from KeyBank increase their price target. They cited confidence in the company's uniquely strong execution as benefits from portfolio improvements show through. Parker Hannafin does come in as a strong buy based on 13 current analyst ratings with 12 buys and one hold. And the average price target of $666.50 would imply an upside potential of about 3.3%. Looking at those more recent ratings down below, on the high end, we do have Truist Financial here at 788 for an upside of over 22%, and more recent ratings coming in with upsides of 12 and 10% here, while our low end is a hold from back in September with a downside of 19%. And our second strong buy dividend king is Abbott Laboratories. They currently trade under the ticker ABT, currently priced at $117 per share. This is another stock we did talk about, I believe most recently sometime in September. In the past year, it has climbed 29%, and in the last three months is up 14%. Abbott Laboratories creates and manufactures a diversified line of healthcare products. 
They're focused on creating breakthrough products in diagnostics, medical devices, nutrition, and branded generic pharmaceuticals that help families and communities lead healthier lives full of unlimited possibilities. They're well known for their nutrition care with popular products like Insure and Pedialyte and Pediasure, both diabetes care and diagnostic testing with their Libre glucose monitoring, and cardiovascular care with medical technologies with remote heart failure monitoring and different stents and heart pumps. Abbott has declared 399 consecutive quarterly dividends since 1924 and has been increasing their dividend annually for 51 consecutive years. And that dividend growth rate for the last 10 years on a compound annual basis is 10.4%. Over the last five years, that goes up to 11.7%. Their most recent quarterly dividend is 55 cents per share for a dividend yield of 1.86% and a healthy payout ratio at 37%. And this is another company with a solid track record when it comes to earnings reports as well. The next is coming up this week on October 16th and does follow a Q2 earnings and revenue beat back in July, where the company also increased their full year guidance. For their third quarter, analysts are anticipating earnings per share of $1.20, which would be a $0.06 cent increase over last year's. This follows their Q2 earnings beat at $1.14, coming in $0.04 cents ahead of estimates. Sales of $10.4 billion grew 4% year-over-year, beating by $30 million. Management noted that they achieved another quarter of strong growth in their underlying base business, and they had a lot of positive momentum heading into the second half of the year, raising their full-year guidance. Abbott narrowed their full-year 2024 organic sales growth guidance range to 9.5 to 10%, which represented an increase at the midpoint of the range. And just today, we did have a five-star analyst from Raymond James increase their price target on the stock. They said they view Abbott as a diversified healthcare player with a consistent 7% plus top line and low double-digit earnings per share growth profile. Despite some ongoing litigations, they think the ultimate financial obligation will be manageable and that underlying fundamentals remain strong. Abbott Laboratories currently has 17 analyst ratings coming in as a strong buy with 14 buys and three holds. And their average price target comes in at $129 for an upside potential of about 10%. Looking at those recent ratings down below, a lot weighing in already in October here ahead of that Q3 earnings support, with the high-end price target being $135 from JP Morgan, implying an upside potential of nearly 15%, while our low-end price target is from back in September uh, for the downside of nearly 9%. So that is a quick look at two strong buy dividend stocks, both with great histories for paying and increasing those dividends. Let me know your thoughts on these companies in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. And don't forget, you can head over to the Tip Ranks website to check out the Dividend Smart Investor newsletter for different dividend investing ideas sent right to your inbox every single week. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so please make sure you always do your own research and due diligence. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great great day and I'll see you back here next time.